Hi guys, I'm Nikki, if you're new here. Welcome to Mystical Enlightenment. It is Tuesday, so as you can guess from the title and it being Tuesday, it is time for another Tarot Tuesday. I hope you guys had a wonderful week and weekend. It was gorgeous here in New York, so I got to go outside a little bit, got to open my windows, not so much AC going on. It feels great in New York. So I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope everybody is getting in the mood for Samhain and Halloween. Do you guys have your decorations up? Let me know in the comments. What is your favorite part of Samhain Halloween season? Is it that you can be a witch? Or do you hate the fact that everybody at this time of year gets into the whole witch thing? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's get into the cards. As normal, I'm using the Light Sears deck by Chris Ann. Oops. Well, didn't mean to drop the cards, but at least you get to see some of these beautiful images. I mean, I'm just scattering them, but look at these. Look at this lover's card. How amazing is that? The two. The Two of Swords is probably one of my favorites from all my decks. Uh, the Ace of Wands, another beautiful card. All right. Anyway, I do have a walkthrough of this deck on my channel. If you would like to see it, 145. Sorry, that's just for me. If you would like to see the walkthrough, I'll link it for you so that you can check it out. All right, here we go. So I'm going to ask our guides, guardians, and angels to join us. We ask that our ancestors are with us. We ask the elements, fire, air, earth, fire, air, earth, water. We ask the universe to join us. And we ask that messages that are received today are from the highest realms and that the messages we receive are those that we need to hear and we thank you so mote it be All right. here we go oops anybody else drop the cards when they shuffle wow If I was one of those YouTubers who wanted to be perfect, I would edit my video right there, but I'm not, so I'm just going to do another quick shuffle off camera, and we are going to get going. All right, so I'm going to pull three cards, one, two, three. And I will give you a moment to focus on the cards and see which card resonates with you. All right, let's get into it. So if you chose the first card, you chose the two of wands so right now should be a time for planning for you looking towards the future do you have travel plans right now maybe a weekend getaway is coming up maybe there's one that you don't know about two of wands is all about looking to the future i love this card because of the VW in the corner. Can you guys see that? I, the, that's awesome imagery. All right, so you should be looking towards the future. If you chose the second card, or the middle card, you chose the King of Wands. The King of Wands, when this card comes up, it is all about having a very controlling, um yeah a controlled sense of being 
Now this may be somebody in your life, or I'm just gonna put that down. It may be somebody in your life, or it may be talking about you. So you'll have to think about this. Do you feel right now that you are in control of a situation, that you have the control, that you're leading people? You may be in a position right now where you are the leader. If not, there is somebody in your life who is like a, a leader, a CEO type, that is all business, all about getting things in order and business oriented. Doesn't want to hear anything. His way is the right way. That type of person. If this is you, um, I'm getting the message that maybe you need to be thinking about, is that right? the right way to be right now? Now, is that the right way to be? Should you change? Perhaps not, but that's a good message for the week. And the last one, and if I was doing a regular reading, of course I would pull all the cards to support and find out if it was the right way for you to be. But for, since it's a short three card pull and we're doing a collective reading here, you can think about how that applies to your life. So for the last card, ooh, the Page of Wands. This is all about being carefree and inspired, starting something new. Check out, oh, that's beautiful. Starting something new, fresh. Um, is there a class you've been wanting to take? Is there a move you've been wanting to make? I'm not talking about packing your bags and, you know, running off grid. I know so many of us want to do that right now, right? Oh my God. If I could just pack my stuff up and go off grid right now, it would be so amazing. But anyway, I digress. So, <laughs> um, is there a class you've wanted to take? Is there something you've wanted to do, but you've been afraid? Now might be the perfect time for you to be doing that. It's a time to start new. Um, be a little carefree with yourself right now. Take that risk not not take the risk to the point where you're going to you know disrupt your whole life and end up in a bad situation but take that little risk take the course go to the conference um you know join that sewing circle do those things that you've been holding back on that will make you happy do the things you're passionate about all right guys I know this is a short, quick read. It always makes me feel a little off because these readings are so quick and short, but that's the way these are designed to be. Short, quick, to the point, just reading the cards. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. I noticed not many people are doing that. People are watching the videos, but forgetting to hit that like button. So if you could do that for me, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, it really helps my analytics on the channel. Also, if you've not subscribed, that would be awesome. The subscriber count on the channel is climbing and that is exciting me. All right, guys, until I see you next time for angel card readings, which will be on Thursday, I'm going to say blessed be and have a wonderful day.